Hello everybody, welcome back to the homestead. So today we're working on canning up some pears. We went up to the cabin, I had gotten pears beforehand, we got two bushels. I put them in the basement hoping that they'd be okay by the time we got home, but they are very, very ripe and need to be canned up. I will be canning pear butter, I will be canning pear slices, I will be canning pear pie, pill pie filling, and uh, probably some pear scrap jelly as well. So I'd like to take you along and show you how I do that. Started with peeling and coring my pears. So these will be for pear slices. I'm keeping the scraps here so that I can boil it down and make some pear scrap jelly. I also have pear scraps in my jars here so I can make some pear scrap vinegar. So these are what the pears look like. And they, you can tell they need to be done like right away. So that is what I will be doing today. Started off putting some pears in my slow cooker here. They're gonna cook down with four cups of sugar, a zest of lemon and some lemon juice. I'll sh throw in some nutmeg and some cinnamon later. Um, and that will be for the pear butter. I can go through that recipe later when I'm canning it. And uh, I can also lift, list that in the description below. So here I'm just putting filtered water in with all of my pear scraps. I'm going to boil this down and this will create a pear juice that I can use in my uh, pear pie filling and in my pear jelly. So any of my mushier pears or the pears that just will not make good slices I am putting in here and I'm going to make a pear sauce with them. I'm leaving the peels on. I do that with my applesauce as well. I'll just blend it all up. It's, there's so much nutrition found in the peel that I don't really want to get rid of it. And with this amount of pears, it's also just good time management for me. I have all of my jars in my canner and they're just heating up in some water. That's just to sterilize them. I'll get the lids in some hot water as well. Not boiling, just hot. And I'm going to get going on my syrup for my canned pears. I am doing an ultra light version of this syrup for my pears and I'm doing a double batch just to make sure that I have enough. So I've got 10 cups of filtered water here and one cup of sugar. So I'll get that all dissolved, that sugar all dissolved in that water and then I'll get to canning my pears. So I am just going to raw pack these pears into my hot jars and then I'm going to get the syrup and fill the syrup to a half inch head space. So I'm just filling these jars with the syrup until it's a half inch head space and then I'm going to wipe the rim of the jars and get them into my canner. I also forgot to mention that you should get a wooden utensil and just stick it in there, get rid of all of your bubbles and then you can wipe off the rim and put it in your canner. I have 11 pints in the canner right now and I'm going to wait until this water comes to a rolling boil and then I am going to time for 20 minutes and once the 20 minutes is done I can turn off the heat. I'm going to leave them in the canner for a little bit and then I can take them out of the canner. It's just to keep it from the pressure changing too quickly and then the syrup kind of comes out the lids and then you don't really get a good seal after that. So while this is going, I am going to go back to my pears and I am going to start peeling them some more and getting more ready for another batch of pears and syrup. I have my pear scrap vinegar sitting here. So what I did is put all my scraps from my pears in here and then I added four cups of water and a half a cup of sugar and a splash of a live vinegar. So if you have a live vinegar with a mother, you can use that. Uh, Bragg's apple cider vinegar is also a good option. So that's what I've used. And I'm gonna let this sit and ferment for a few weeks. I'm gonna stir it every day just to make sure no mold appears on the top. And then after a couple of weeks, it should be fermented enough for me to take out the pear scraps and then it'll ferment a little bit more. All right, so it's the next day and after processing my pear sauce down, I realized I didn't have a lot of it. So I took my pear butter, which had not cooked down very much. It was still just more of a pear sauce and I combined it. 
I decided that I had already done a lot of peach butter, so I think that we might just stick to more pear sauce. Now this is dark in color, just because I've added cloves. I've added about uh, two tablespoons of cloves, or teaspoons, sorry, and two teaspoons of cinnamon, and a couple teaspoons of nutmeg. I've also added a little bit of maple syrup. So I'm gonna cook this down because it's very liquidy right now. And uh, I'll can it a little bit later. Here I've also started slicing up the rest of my pears and I'm going to do pear pie filling here. And I'm saving more for, once again, more um, pear sauce. These are the pears that are a bit too mushy or won't really make good slices. So they'll just get tossed in here for pear sauce and I know my kids will eat it right up. So the, the skins and the cores, I'm going to save these and I think I'm going to go get a bottle of gin or a bottle of rum and do a spiced pear drink for the winter. So I have taken my pear scraps that I had put in water, filtered water, and I was kind of simmering them. I'm now draining them to get the pear juice out of them. So that way I can add the pear juice to my apple or my pear pie filling and I can also make a pear jelly. Right now I am getting most of my recipes from this Ball Complete Book of Home Preserving. I am going to use the apple pie filling recipe for my pear pies. And I believe it's the apple uh, sauce recipe that I'm also using. Um, so there's a little peek at it. That's basically what I'll be using and uh, I'll take you along while I'm doing that. All right, so for my pear pie filling, I have got two and three quarters cup sugar. I've got some clear gel, three quarters cup clear gel in there. One and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, uh, one and a quarter cups of cold water. I have two and a half cups of the pear juice that I got from boiling my pear scraps. And I've got half a cup of lemon juice. I'm just going to bring this to a boil now. All right, so I boiled this mixture for a minute and then I added my 12 cups of pears. And now I am just warming up my jars here so I can get ready to can them. I've ladled my pie filling into my jar. I'm leaving one inch of headspace and I removed the air bubbles, wiped the rim, and now I'm gonna get my lid off and get it in the can. So I got all my jars in the canner and they are going to boil on high for 25 minutes. All right, so I'm getting ready to can up my pear sauce. I think there's about 24 pounds of pears. I've got eight tablespoons of lemon juice. Um, I put in some maple syrup, I wanna say about four cups. And I just added in some vanilla, so it smells lovely in here. I also added in some cinnamon and nutmeg. So I'm going to get these in my pint jars and I am going to can them for 20 minutes. All right, so I have my sauce all canned up and now I'm getting ready to make jelly with the juice that I uh, got from the pear scraps that I had boiled down. So I'm using four cups per batch of jelly and I'll show you what I'm doing with that now. And with my peach scraps that I need to do just do one batch of jelly at a time, I can't be doubling it otherwise you end up with just syrup so i'm starting off with four cups in this pot and four cups in this pot and we will make two batches of jelly with this so i've added two tablespoons of lemon juice and two-thirds cup of unsweetened juice along with my pear juice and i'm going to bring this to a boil i've also added my pectin I'm going to uh, bring this to a boil so that it can't be stirred down. And once it's boiling, I will add my sugar and then bring it to a boil once again. I added one cup of sugar as I'm doing a low sugar recipe and I'm bringing this to a boil for one minute and then I'll take it off and get it into my jars and get it into the canner. 
I just added my sugar to this one and I'm waiting for it to come to another boil so it can boil for one minute. I've ladled this into my jars. I am leaving a quarter inch headspace and then I'm going to put these in the canner for 10 minutes. All right, that ends our pear preservation fest. <laughs> so at the end of this, we got eight jars of pear jelly, 19 jars of pears and syrup. I got, so I think, 14 jars of apple pie or pear pie filling, 12 jars of pear sauce, and then I've got one quart of pear sauce and one quart of uh, pear pie filling. So that's two bushels, all prepared right here. And then behind me here, I have pear scrapped brandy. So what I'm doing is I am infusing brandy with pear, cinnamon, and honey. And I'm going to infuse this for the next couple of months. And then at Christmas time, we're going to have a lovely little drink as a treat. Anyways, I hope you guys have found this useful. And please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.